What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are here for another episode of Gun Meme Review, and this one is gonna be a really fun one because we have some of the best things that the internet on the, the gun tube, YouTube, loves to click on. We have HK and we have Glock. God, I love the AdSense. I mean, views, I mean, you guys. Last episode of Gun Meme Review, we promised some HK SP5 memes, and damn it, we are gonna make good on that promise. So let's just go ahead and roll into that first, and we're gonna see if anybody ever wants to sponsor a Gun Meme Review ever again after this episode. So without further ado, let's get into some HK memes. HK perfection. Wait. So for those of you who don't know, HK just announced that they are releasing an MP5 variant to the US uh, commercial market. So us, civilian peons actually get a real HK MP5 now, which is just, it's expensive. But kudos to HK for finally listening to what the people want. Instead of just releasing another VP9 variant, uh, we actually get a real HK MP5. Albeit about 10 years late, but uh, you know, Germany's in a different time zone. HK, $3,000 price tag. Poor people, which is you. I love the amount of disrespect in that photo. Like if you just look at that dude's eyes, like he's not even looking at that dude, he's just like, fuck off. To be fair, if you made your entire living off of selling to global militaries with giant budgets and cartels, you really wouldn't have time for the pores in the American market either. Unfortunately, that means me. Brilliant photo though. I don't know why this isn't used as a meme template more often. Me standing at the gun counter. Oh, of course, Baby Yoda had to make it into gun meme review. Me standing at the gun counter, waiting for my wife to give me permission to buy a new HK. I'm sure that's relatable to a good many of you. That still, that, that hurts me to a core. That hurts my soul. Bachelor life! I get the simplified version of that. I don't have to ask anybody for permission to buy an HK. I just know right off the bat I can't afford one. All I have to do is call my bank and ask. That's when they tell me they canceled my account three months ago. HK, but never mind the poor people, we just here to party. Hey, it's working out pretty well so far. Kinda. Also cool to get a little bit of pewds. Little shout out there, little, little homage to the originator of the idea of a gun meme review. Well, kind of a meme review. Not so much a gun meme review. That's why I kind of feel comfortable doing this stuff is I'm pretty sure that's, this is an area I don't think he's gonna touch anytime soon. Kind of like you guys, the audience, and real women. I'm just kidding, I love you guys. Everybody knows that only Chads watch gun meme review. I don't think that's a problem for any of you guys. Chad meme review, my hand, you cute ass. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back out to the shop and we film later and just do an HK slap just so we can complete that, so. HK. The SP5, Glock Perfection, G44. Okay, so main event time. I guess it's time to talk about that. So Glock hyped an amazing new product that was launching. It was gonna be a huge announcement, a legendary, real big marketing hype. They had a countdown and everything. And uh, all of the casuals or people that were new to the industry uh, we're, we're super hyped and they're, they're guessing all this stuff and oh, maybe it's a P, uh, pistol caliber carbine, maybe it's, you know, this or that. I think they're gonna do, I heard 1911. What the fuck you want that for? All these crazy ideas thinking that Glock is gonna come along and really kind of change up their stuff. Me and a good bit of the other people that are quite jaded to this kind of stuff about now, we were prepared for disappointment and Glock delivered. What is this legendary new product? It is the Glock 44, which is not a 44 make a 44 Magnum. In true Glock fashion, uh, they have a model number that is an actual caliber, such as, you know, the 22 or the, you know, 40 or the 44 or 45. Uh, they did not have it corresponding to that caliber. So it is a 22, it's a 22 LR. Glock made a 22. With a 10 round magazine capacity, with the frame size, roughly that of a 19 with a 15 round capacity, a nine millimeter. Glock fucked up. <laughs> Very odd, especially since a lot of their marketing materials made it look like this is for hiking and outdoors and, and things like that. So not exactly, I don't know, man. But I'm gonna cope with that disappointment the same way I always do and just look at some memes. A Glock PCC, Glock in 22 LR. I honestly don't know what a Glock pistol caliber carbine would have looked like. If Glock did their own PCC, uh, would it have looked like a Roni? Like what's the, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of interested. I'm, I'm curious. What do you think a Glock PCC would have looked like? A PCC, by the way, if you don't know, is pistol caliber carbine, which I think would have been pretty rad uh, if Glock had an R&D department, which I'm not sure at this point that they do. Uh, <laughs> I think that might have had the potential to be cool, but uh, no, that's not what we got. We got a 22. Something that has been in the aftermarket for about 10 years now. Ah, there's that template again. Glock, what people actually want. 
which is funny because that would have worked for HK as well up until recently. Ironically, as the guy who is being represented as Glock is holding a pistol caliber carbine. Our expectations for you were low, but holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I, yeah. When James at TFB hears you saying the Glock 44 doesn't come with a threaded barrel, how dare you? Interesting, by the way, because one of the main reasons I'd even be interested in a 22 in the first place is uh, for suppression. Uh, uh, shooting suppressed 22s is actually really fun. Super cheap and really quiet. Again, Vendetta against Ear Pro. That's why I have to sleep with a fan on. But uh, suppressed 22s are really, I, I just, I think they're a lot of fun to shoot. And originally, it didn't look like the Glock 44 was going to come with, uh, with threaded barrels. Now it looks like, last I heard, only Europe is going to be getting the threaded barrels. Something about imports, I don't know how that's all going to shake out, but uh, it may not be an option here in the States. I'm sure somebody's going to come up with an aftermarket one relatively soon, but it's still weird. I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. But still, James hopped on that pretty quick. Speaking of James, we still haven't gotten him to host a gun meme review yet, so definitely leave something down in the comments if you want to see James Reeves from TFB TV guest host a gun meme review, because I think that would be a lot of fun. And, uh, I mean, if he thinks his comment section's bad now, just wait until he does a collaboration with us. I'll, we'll deport all of our weebs over to the TFB comment section. <laughs> they can have them. I'm sure he loves it. I hear, I hear he's a big fan, actually. Glock Inc. Innovation. Disappointing everyone. You can't disappoint us if our expectations were already fairly low. My Glock 19. My Glock 44. It's actually kind of good. Except it's virtually the same size. I don't know why that bothers me so much. I think it has to do with this, the way that 22 long rifle feeds. Uh, 22 long rifle is notorious for just being a jam machine. Just from not generating a lot of power, having an odd shaped rimmed cartridge, being so small, feed ramps are in it. I, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of shit going on there. Glock 44, industry shills. The Taurus TX-22. Taurus, stay out of this. Taurus isn't real. At this point, I'm fairly convinced Taurus is just a conspiracy from Smith & Wesson to make them look decent. You know anybody who's ever been to the Taurus factory? Me either. That's a lie. <laughs> or maybe they're lying. I'm just gonna keep reading memes. No one. Literally no one. Glock. Available. Oh, SHOT Show. Oh no. They're gonna make us look at these at SHOT Show, aren't they? I'm just gonna call it right now. This is most definitely gonna be one of the most talked about things at the uh, media industry day at the range. Uh, it's like the day before SHOT Show starts when everybody goes out in the middle of the desert and they shoot all this stuff. It's the SHOT Show sponsored thing. Um, this is gonna be what everybody makes their videos about because Glock gets clicks. It's the same reason we put it in our title thumbnail. So, a hey. At least I'm transparent about it. I'm not, I'm not putting up any sort of facade here. I, I know what I'm about and so do you guys too. From the press check, support groups popping up for disappointed Glock fanboys. I'm just gonna use this to keep directing traffic over to the press check. Go check them out. There is an excellent source of, uh, in, it's like the industry version of The Onion and I've, I've very much enjoyed all of their stuff so far. I'm not really sure who runs it at this point, but it is fantastic. And they've shouted me out in an article before, so. Yeah, they have, they have very bad taste in YouTube. So summarizing all the Glock memes on that side, um, it was massively overhyped, mostly blame marketing for that, unless this was actually just a troll, in which case, well done. It is a very lukewarm addition to the Glock lineup. I guess it's just something that they had to kind of check that box for. It's probably underwhelming for its price point. Low magazine capacity, plastic frame, probably gets beat for performance by a lot of other semi-auto 22 handguns out there for a cheaper price. And I'm still gonna buy one. And I'm not a Glock paid shell either. Although I would very much like to be. And I think this gun room review just made sure I never would be. <laughs> Even though as much as I'd like to have that Glock money, I've got you guys. Ooh. We've kept this to a pretty tight-knit little area of Europe this time around. Huh, it's kind of interesting. Let's just do a couple of uh, little rando one-off memes and just kind of, I don't know, let's see where, see where the wind takes us. I'm a leaf on the wind. These are stuff from the Discord's gun meme review suggestions and also from Instagram. So if you have a gun meme that you would like to see included in gun meme review, don't DM me. I rarely check those. I get a bunch of DMs that I can't sort through upload it to Instagram, and it doesn't count if you're a private account because I can't see those by the way, but uh, if you upload to Instagram with the hashtag gun meme review, then the, we'll, we'll actually, we comb through those before we film gun meme review so we can see if uh, any of your memes are worthy. And please stop posting paragraph long Google memes. They stopped being funny a month ago. 
Huh, uber specific boogaloo paragraph about uh, drugs and eating fed boys. Whoa, I have achieved comedy. When you walk into the police station to report a stolen truck, but you see a cop who looks just like the guy who sold you that illegal SBR. That's why you don't break the law, kids. Adults, why do I keep saying kids? This guy found my mom's phone and keeps FaceTiming me asking if I have any 32 French long ammo. I saw somebody at a gun show actually put up a, uh, a sign that they said it was a trap for Ian. It just said, we have 32 French long in stock. You are reading a magazine. Yes, literally anything. Brandon's AK. But will it AK? That was a fun series. We, we need to bring that back. It's actually started to get a little bit more traction. Like for whatever reason, it just randomly started taking off. Like the Will It AK videos started picking back up again. So uh, start of the new year, we'll probably be doing another one for our new uh, AKG Warfighters that are coming out, which I'm very excited for those. You can tell because I'm rubbing my hands. But in all seriousness, I'm actually filming this while I'm, oh, well, <laughs> I'm filming this before I'm away, not while I'm away but I've got a very big deal that I'm working on. I cannot wait to show you guys what we're doing. It's probably the biggest move we've ever made in the history of my professional career and also a professional career, but also for the channel. And so I'm really excited to, to show you guys what that is. I've been working on it for like maybe four months now, and we finally get to talk about what it is we're doing. And this is going to be frankly huge. So I'm excited for that. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. You don't want to miss out to that, uh, miss out on that. Fuck, I swear I can speak. And also hit the notification bell to get the notifications when we upload. So you can be part of the hashtag AKG notification squad. Is if you can comment in the first hour and somewhere in your comment includes the hashtag AKG notification squad, you will be entered to win cool stuff like t-shirts, like this sweet, sweet shirt from third pin threads that I'm also going to put in the pinned comment where you can go ahead and get that and you can get a discount with my code because I'm an e-girl. Also, if you enjoy these gun meme reviews, you can go ahead and vote for me in the Gundies, which is a pre-shot show-ish uh, awards for uh, gun influencers, brands, whatever. You can go down there and vote. You don't have to vote for me, just vote. Just vote, I guess. Exercise your right to vote in the Gundies. And a reminder, you can vote every day. So if you do really want to help me win and not look like a nobody, then you can, uh, you can vote every day. I genuinely appreciate your support. And there's a lot of other great content creators in other categories there that uh, you know obviously could, could use your support because they're really good guys. So anyway, I think that just about sums up everything for this gun meme review. Leave your suggestions with the hashtag gun meme review on Instagram. And I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks, guys.